channel everybody today I got a very special video for you which you already know by the title but um, I say very special because these happen to be some of my most popular videos on YouTube and I really love showing you guys and making these videos so I think I'm going to continue this series and I'm not going to show all of the colognes um, yet. I still have some more after this video is done, but there are some really good ones and a few for you guys maybe that you've never heard of, so stay tuned. So I guess I'll just go on to do and show my first, the first one, which is should do one that maybe not too many have heard of and I haven't even heard of to be honest necessarily wear this um, it's fresh though it's fresh and clean I can yeah I can see this if you're going to um, a little restaurant on the in like a coastal area like in Newport or something I could definitely see somebody wearing this it's not bad not my style it's fresh it's aquatic smell good, I'm not gonna lie, it does smell good, but not my style, I'll rate this one, I'll rate it a 6 out of 10, and would I recommend it, yes, if you do like aquatic scents, I would, okay, let's go ahead and show that, I show one that everybody knows, and everybody loves, or should I show?
original Romeo. There's, I mean, yeah, there's so many if you know colognes, but there's like La Mel Ultra or something like that. And personally, I liked this one better, but I know that the, the, the dark, the dark one is the most popular. So I think I will be going and picking that one up. Probably not my next cologne pickup. out the shower type type of fragrance it's a little bit sweeter it's a little bit sweeter um yeah so it's not the most attention grabbing it's not super strong it doesn't bug the one good thing that i love is it doesn't bug your nose some colognes are very aggressive and they just tickle your nose this one it's just good perfectly in the middle but um yeah so it smells like kind of like a baby but clean a little bit of sweet well kind of sweet fresh but not fresh like a strong man just fresh like clean like well taken care of type of thing you know so this one is is I, would i recommend it absolutely i definitely would recommend this what would I rate it as far as my personal favorites? A nine. But I think in the general cologne space, there is better colognes. But this is like something that I really like just because it meets the criteria that I like where it's not too strong. It's just clean. No, so. But I think, yeah, so in general, I'd rate it like a 7.5. save the best for last as I usually do I think but I'm gonna show one that definitely nobody has seen heard of I'd never heard of it it was a gift given to me by my brother let's go ahead and show it now this one makes the best sound It's not peppery. Um, a little bit sweet. Maybe I want to say kind of like vanilla y, but not. It's really good. But one thing about this cologne. This 
smell clean like that's if you notice that's the type of colognes I like it's just I don't like super sweet I don't like super dark and strong I like clean fresh and this one is definitely clean and it's definitely different than the other ones it smells like you would wear this like where would you wear this it smells like you would wear this as like a flannel type of guy. Like a guy that wears flannels and has a beard or something like that. But it's good. It's fresh. I'm sure it's not expensive. Um, like I said, it doesn't last the longest. So, would I recommend it? Yep. Um, what do I rate it on my scale? that meet my criteria would probably rate it a seven maybe a seven i'd rate it a seven and a half because i do like it but it, i do want a little bit more attention grabbing or just a little bit more like a little more uniqueness you know what i mean It is clean. It is unique in its in its own sense, but at the same time, it's very overused, like very popular. A lot of people have this one. It's not like shocking to when you smell it, but I don't know if many people would say that they don't like this one, even if they don't. As a, if it's not necessarily. So what would I rate this? Would I recommend it? Yes. What do I rate it on my scale? A 10. Because I can never go wrong with this one. If I don't know what cologne to put on for the day. This is what I'll do. This is a 10. Something that I love. Maybe I get another cologne and it bumps this one down. But I doubt it. Because it's so just like. It just is. It's just good. Um. Most people rate it probably like at least a 9. I'd say it's very popular. But I wouldn't give it a 10 just because it's lost its uniqueness in the sense that a lot of people wear it. And a lot of people recognize it now. So it's not like, wow, what is that? What is that guy wearing? People know. But yeah, so. These were my. Those were my top two colognes. As far as this video goes, thank you guys for watching.
God bless.